Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. Reba here. Do you guys hear the birds in the background? Of course they go quiet when I ask the question. They're chirping when I started the video. Oh, they sound so beautiful. So, today I'm coming back to you guys. I made a video yesterday and I was sewing. And I wanted to share with you guys what I created. Now, I said I would come back today and I would share with you guys a finished product. It's almost finished. Now, um, I actually used a real pair to um, create this pattern and, um, and that sort of thing. So um, I basically figured out how I needed to go about it to create the pear shape. Now there are many, many patterns out there that you can create these with. One, I didn't care for the free ones that were out there and two, um, I just don't like being under other people's restrictions and rules. And so, cause I'm a rebel like that and they call me Rebel Reba. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I decided to make my own because then I'm not under anybody's um, rules or regulations for um, what I can create and so, or what I can't. So anyway, so this is how it's looking. It's nearly done. I left the top open just a little bit because I need to attach things to the top. So the top doesn't have to be fully sewed, but just enough. And then at the bottom, it looks rough too. And that's okay because this is where I filled the entire um, pin cushion from. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is um, I'm gonna make a base for this because oftentimes our pin cushions are getting slid around on our tables and moved wherever we go. And they can get kind of dirty on the bottom, so I'm wanting to create a really nice um, flat base. And um, I'll probably be recycling cardboard for that, and then I cover that with a nice felt. And I'll probably use a dark color, like maybe a dark orange or um, or something like that that kind of coordinates with the um, pin cushion itself. And then the top, I'm going to add a felt. Um, like stem that way it, that can be used to pick it up with kind of like a handle and a um, like a nice like green decorative leaf or something so um, I have made pin cushions in the past and um, I haven't sold very many of them but I have oops I have high hopes for these and um, and I thought I would do something kind of easy with um, some of my scraps and I figured this would be a good way to use up some of the scraps that are a little bit smaller like say these were from strips of fabric that I had cut to create ruffles with and I figured I could still use some of them for ruffles but I thought this was really really cool to turn it into something like this so I kind of I'm kind of upcycling a little bit with some of my past projects and um, I have a lot of different things that I can use in my um, my sewing stuff so I'm going to get creative and so um, this is almost the finished product because I said I would come back today and show you guys a finished product but it's not quite finished so we're nearly there but somewhere somewhere in the house I have my felt and I thought I had it in my fabric tote bins out here, but I didn't see it. So that means I took it out at some point, and that probably means it's buried somewhere in the garage. And um, and when Christmas comes, everything gets a, everything turns into a hot mess, and then it's so cold in there, you don't want to work in the winter. So then I wait till about this time of year to actually clean out the garage. So it's about time to clean the garage again. And. I always downsize a lot in the spring just before summer and I get rid of a bunch of stuff too. So it's about time to do all of that again and every year my garage gets smaller and smaller or bigger and bigger, however you want to think of it. Um, more space becomes available and more stuff goes away. 
So that is the idea. So I'm going to make something, I'm going to try to make something look really cool and unique for the top, you guys. So um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm racking my brain. Now I am an art major and that's what I went to college for. And so I do a lot of my own drawings and I'm going to draw up something really cool to put on top of here that looks more like unique to me. So I'm going to figure out something that I cut out of felt that is going to be like basically kind of like my signature thing. You know what would be kind of cool actually since I'm Gooseberry Homestead? Instead of putting a, um, <laughs> a pear leaf, maybe I should put a gooseberry leaf. That would be weird. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Or I might just do a regular pear leaf, but I might jazz it up or something. But I was just like, that would be cool. But then I'm like, that might confuse people. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So that's how this is looking. And um, it looks really cute. And then I'll put my um, Lilla Dolce label on the bottom because I don't have any labels for Gooseberry Homestead made up. And um, that costs money and I don't have that right now. So, um, so yeah. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. And then um, everybody was squeezing it in the house last night. They're at, they're like, it's a stress ball. I'm like, once pins go in there and one gets lost, you're not going to want to squeeze this so much. Um, <laughs> but because um, I've always, I've lost pins into my pin cushions, especially the ones that you use to stitch things up with. Um, not the pins that have the little knobs on the end. But yeah. So anyways, that's how it looks. We got a nice shot of Walter. Hey, Walter. Sleeping? You enjoying the day? So anyways, so that's how it's looking. I wanted to come today with a finished object for you guys to put onto Etsy, but um, I don't. But I did sew up four more of these, exact same print, and um, I thought this was really cute, prints for a pair, because you kind of have the green reminiscent of a pair or what have you. I know there's red pairs too, so I could do some red ones too, um, or possibly even yellow. Um, so we'll just see. I'll see what I have in my fabric stash and um, and use up some of my scraps. I got rid of a ton of my scraps a few years ago, you guys, when we were getting ready to leave Germany, and um, I gave them to some quilters, and I should have kept them, but. I already had so much fabric that I knew I was going to make more scraps, so, but yeah, retrospect, you know, I start doing things with scraps of stuff, and then I wish I still had that other bin of scraps from all the projects I had done in the past, because there was actually some really cool fabric prints in there that I don't have anymore, but that's okay. But anyways, you guys, thanks for coming along today. It's not like a big, huge video today. But that's all right. Um, all my plants are, for the most part, looking really, really awesome. Um, I've actually eaten a little bit on the cutting celery, and I love, I love the cutting celery. I love that it's growing big now, so that I can use it. And I've ran out of my allergy pills, and you guys, I can tell the difference from me not having my allergy pills for two days. I'm so sad. I need to make some money so I can go buy some more. So <laughs> I think today what I'm going to end up sewing instead of pin cushions is slip form covers out of all that felt that I bought and get that used up and um, list some felt covers for um, or slip covers for um, dress forms and put that up in my Etsy shop for sale because I need to make a little bit of money. But what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about takes me about an hour to make one of these. So what I'm thinking about doing is paying myself minimum wage since I've had the fabric for so long, not charging for the fabric itself. You know what I'm saying? And listing it for what my minimum wage goes for here where I live, which is $15. And um, that way, at least I'm not undercutting myself and I'm actually paying myself for the hour that I've worked. And um, yeah. So that's what I think I'm going to do, and if anybody wants to go ahead and purchase one of these once I get them into my Etsy shop, I will provide a link here as soon as the listing is up, and then I'll make a quick other video letting you guys know that the listing's up on Etsy, 
And um, so, yeah. Um, so there's that. And I'm thinking about switching platforms. Um, there's a couple different social media platforms that are appealing to me. One is called Mind. And the other one is called MeWe. And I'm kind of going to start steering my... Um, my businesses away from the Facebook platform um, only because um, I don't like people being silenced and um, I think everybody should have a voice not just one one particular political side so um, people need to start you know they need to start um, stop complaining and start taking action so if you don't like something then don't support it so, um, so yeah, so I'm going to try to get away from the whole Facebook world and that's going to be difficult because it's made a lot of people enslaved to it. And like I said at the beginning of this, I'm Rebel Reba or Reba Rebel or whatever you want to call me. <laughs> and so <clears throat> dare to be different and don't go with the crowd. I'm not a sheeple. I don't follow people. All right, you guys. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell button. And have, and as always, have a wonderful day. And God bless. I can't talk. Walter just left me. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>